All right, so in that last one, I said that this is going to be a problem for us the way it's currently set up because it's not associated to anything unique except for the product, right? We wanted to actually make it unique with the cart because the cart will be unique because of all of this stuff. So I actually wanted to show you this in action why it's not going to work for us by going into the model or going into our admin. And I'm going to log in. I'm going to actually add cart item into our admin. So let's go into admin and then cart admin or cart item, excuse me. And then we're just going to register it. Admin.site.register cart item. All right. And then refresh into our admin. So there we go. We've got cart items here. So we have product one. So I'm going to change this quantity to 100. Save it. So product one has a quantity of 100 as a cart item. All right, so now I'm gonna log out. I'm gonna go in to our product, product one. I'm gonna add it to the cart. Quantity is 100. Hmm. All right, so what? And then let's log out again. I'm gonna log in and log out again. So log it and log out. And go in, product one, add to cart, 100. So that's where that problem comes in, right? So right then and there, I just changed a bunch of different sessions. Um, so uh, one thing to look at is if we go into the admin and check out our carts, we have nine carts here, right? So if I click on each cart, it'll say the items. So that one says product one, that one says product one, that one says product one, and it also has the other products. Okay, so that's actually showing me that I have multiple carts, but the exact same item. So that's where this is our problem. That is currently a problem that we have to fix and we will fix it in this one. So in our models.py, I wrote these notes to have a cart foreign key and a line total. So I'm actually going to get rid of these foreign keys right here. So the product one, we just definitely don't need. We got rid of that. We pretty much got rid of the use of it in the last one. And then the cart one, we also do not need. Now instead, we want to do cart, or sorry, not right there, but cart equals to models dot foreign key cart, and we don't want this to be null or uh, empty. We actually want to make sure that we are using a cart item in here. Um, so, but the actually running the schema migration is going to run some errors. So I'm just going to make it null, true blank equals to true. Uh, because of the default fields that are currently in there. Uh, we just have to do that specifically for this one. Uh, long term wise, we wouldn't actually have to do that. We would probably want to get rid of some stuff, but I'm just going to leave it null and blank for now. And then we want the line total. Uh, so the line item total, which would be a decimal field most likely. So I'll just say total or well, we could say line total just so we know that it's the line total. So models dot decimal field. And for this one, default equals to, let's just say uh, 10.99, 10.99, and then uh, max digits equals to, let's say, what, 10, maybe 100, well, maybe 1,000. I don't know how many digits you would actually have in your product, so let's just do it as 1,000, and decimal places being two. All right, cool. So now that we have this stuff, we need to run the schema migration to actually make sure that all this stuff set up. All right, so in our terminal, oh, it says cart is not defined. We have that issue. Uh, that's okay. All we need to do is put, we could either move this whole thing below cart or we could just put quotes, single quotes right there. And that, what that will do is it will look for the cart later in the file. So python manage.py schema migration cart auto. Oops, not cart, but carts. And then python manage.py migrate carts. Let's look at this. So it's adding the field cart on cart item. It's adding the field line total on carts item. And then it has all this stuff. All right, cool. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and migrate the carts. And I'm gonna run the server. And now we actually have to refactor our view once again. So going into our view, we see this part right here. Okay, well, that's cool. So now we can add um, the cart 
equals to cart. So now it's going to absolutely create a brand new thing for us every time with the cart. That's good. Now here we have some more, we have some potential issues here because cart items is no longer uh, a field, right? So we got rid of that field. Uh, let's look in our model. So we got rid of this field right here. So we actually have to do it a little bit differently as far as actually adding it. But we actually add it right here. So this is getting or creating, that's creating the cart and the product, right? So each cart item is actually being created here. Um, so if we had multiple products, it would actually create it and then it would automatically be associated to that cart. So I don't even need this anymore. So I'm going to just comment it out for now with command and slash right there like that. Um, that comments it out. So now we can actually, we have our cart. This is how we actually get our cart items. Um, so we will have a point where in here we'll have to kind of mess around with the view.html shortly. But this is actually creating the, the cart item itself with that specific product. Um, and then in our view, or excuse me, in our model, let's actually look at this. So it's creating a cart. It's associating the cart with a new product. And then it's giving a default quantity of one. So we'll still have to fix that. And then at some point, we'll also have to update this line total. Um, so now if we look at the cart total, uh, well, we won't actually want to use, we could use the cart total still. We'll actually eventually have to use the cart total still. Uh, but now instead of for item in cart items.all, so it's still going to get the same cart. It's now going to be cart item underscore set dot all. Now cart item underscore set is going to everything that's associated to here where before items was associated to a field in the model. Right now it's going to be a, now it's looking for the foreign key relation and then with the set of them and then it's going to get all of those. So this this probably will show us the exact same total um, because it's still getting that cart item instance. Right. So this is still an instance of that item. Right. So it's still the same more or less foreign key. It's just the way we call it is a little bit different. Um, all right. So then we can go through the line item total the same way and that should actually set it the exact same way. All we really did was change how we add it. We didn't we didn't change how we subtract it yet. So we'll still have to do that. Uh, but we did change how we added it. So let's go ahead and save it and actually try it out. So if we I'm going to log out of this and we'll go into one of our products. Go ahead and add it to cart. So cart has no attribute items. So I have something wrong in here. Oh, there. It, it, notice that we have this cart items count. So it's showing us the error right here. Uh, so cart.items.count. And it's saying cart has no attribute items. Well, that makes sense because we changed this one, but we didn't change that one. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's important that you see that these errors happen for all of us. It happens a lot. So it's important to kind of test things all the time, right? So to constantly test it, but also realize that even the best developers have errors constantly too. So if you're having errors a lot, well, you're you're in good company because everyone does. All right, so now I added it and I do have a new total, but I don't have any products in here. And that has to do with how we are looking at those products in the template. So that has to do with up here more so than down here. So we actually did update the cart. But let's actually go in and look at the admin before I update the view. So I'm going to log in. I'll go to cart items and notice, hey, look, product two, product two. All right, that's cool. So maybe we should change it to being um, showing the cart ID as opposed to what we got, what we have there for our Unicode. So now in our model in here, I want to use the cart ID. So I'll do cart dot ID. So we can see the cart items that are associated to which cart ID. All right, so we save that and we refresh in here. And in a code, oh, we have, oh, see, so int, int object has no attribute in code. So we actually have to have, make sure that our Unicode is a string. So we can just do string of this. So that turns the ID or a number into a string. Just a little, little, um, little thing there. So uh, none type has no attribute ID. So one of them does not actually have an ID. So we'll do try. And then if that doesn't work, we'll just accept and we'll return self.product.title. 
like what we had before. All right, so this is the only reason that we have this try in here is because we do have the null values here and then we also already had stored values with just the product and no cart. All right, so now if we refresh, we see that first one actually just had that. So I can even delete that. Um, so I have two carts here, cart, cart 11 and um, cart 10. All right, so that's probably not what we want. So let's actually, I'm gonna delete all my items and then I'm gonna go and delete all my carts so we can start fresh. Okay, so I'm not gonna log out. I'm gonna stay logged in. Go to product two, go to add to cart. Cart matching query does not exist. Up, oh, that has to do with my session. So maybe I do have to log out and I will log in again. Okay, so this now I have a clear session as we see with the cart zero. And if I add a cart, product uh, number actually did add. So if I go back to products or actually the home page and add to cart again, I have two carts and then I have a new total. So if I go into my admin or two cart items, I only have one cart in here, right? And then I have cart items. I have two cart items, but they are associated to the one cart ID. Cool, so now that's actually working. Um, so we can get rid of these fields completely. We don't need them there anymore. We do have a total in here. So if we look at our cart, uh, the total should be calculating correctly, um, uh, associating to what we have done in our view, right? So like if we scroll down here, this is still working and it should be still working correctly. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. All right, so now, uh, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to add a way to actually add new quantities, right? So if if we have new quantities here, there's gotta be a way to do it, but let's actually see it so we can actually see these things in the view. So go ahead and open up, um, let's see, what's our, it's a cart slash view.html. So cart view, all right, so in view.html. Uh, this is fairly straightforward as well. Uh, just like what we did in our view, instead of cart.items.all, we do cart items set because it's still a foreign key. It's just a little bit different on how we call it. Oh, and we want to keep that as cart item, not cart items. So now we see cart uh, one and two, but if I hit remove, it doesn't actually remove it. Um, so we'll have to figure out how we do that later. Um, and that is going to have to do with probably in our update cart, we're gonna to have to get a quantity in here now. So quantity, so I'll do QTY. And then what we'll probably wanna do is if QTY equals to zero, then we'll probably wanna remove this item. We'll do cart item quantity or quantity equals to zero and then cart item dot delete most likely that's what we'll probably have to do or we probably wouldn't even have quite quantity equaling to zero we'll just do cart item delete so it's actually deleting that item so then it wouldn't be in the cart anymore right because it's actually just creating the item so if the quantity is zero this quantity is zero then do that else then we would do cart item dot quantity equals to QTY, and then we would save it, cart item dot save. All right, so now we actually need to figure out how to get in our quantity without re like really changing a whole lot of stuff to our code. Um, so that is gonna have to go with our view. So inside of our, excuse me, our URL, this is our view for it, but we would need to go into our URLs and actually do something in here with the item the, the quantity of the item, and then we'll have to add, update our main page for that product. So I'm actually gonna leave that part to the next one because we did a lot in this one. So uh, we're gonna leave that for the next one. And this the, the, is kind of a quite a bit that we actually added and updated. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, let's continue on.